Welcome. Today we're going to look at Chrome Sign Builder. To install Chrome Sign Builder, let's log in as Super Admin. Once we are in the Admin panel, we open Device Management. From Device Management, select Chrome Management. Now we need to go to Device Settings. This is where we're going to set up Chrome Sign Builder to push to our devices. Let's have a look under our organizational units. Chrome Devices, Kiosk, there's my digital signage, and I have several buildings. Each of these buildings will display different content, but they'll both be using Chrome Sign Builder. So I'll select digital signage here. I do a quick look for Kios. I'll come down to here. No applications as you can see currently, so I want to manage an application. Chrome Web Store, I go and I look for Sign Builder. And here we go. Chrome Sign Builder is the one I wish to use. I save that. Next, I come here and I say Auto Launch kiosk application. You have to pick Chrome Sign Builder. Enable health monitoring. You can decide if you want to enable device logs recording. Once enabled, you will see this message. It's also important to note that Chrome Sign Builder is not a core app and so support is limited. You could search and or report the issue to Chrome Bug Reports. I'll click Cancel. Next, you can choose the Receive Alert via emails. Insert the email address you wish the alerts to go to. If you have other individuals that are responsible for the signage in other buildings, you could put their email addresses under the alerts. This way they'll be notified when any of the kiosk signage devices have went down. You scroll a little further down under power and shutdown. Here, you could put in a number for every X days the kiosk devices to reboot. Make note of the building you're on when you're making these setting changes, as in this case, building two. Then choose save. Now that we have the kiosk app installed, let's consider our screen size and screen layout in which we're going to be presenting our content to. Thanks for watching.